Assalamualaikum everyone. So I am here today to walk you through week two of the Muslim Space Ramadan Arts and Crafts Project. In your packet, it's pretty simple. You're going to see two pieces of paper and three little notebooks. And so what we're doing today is actually going to be making a calendar for your table. And so this is going to be a really easy way so that people in the family don't have to ask, what time is it far today? So here is the a prototype version. Um, obviously, we're going to work through it together. But let me see that. I might have to turn my blur off. Hang on. Um, OK, we'll try that. So this is a simple version. Obviously, I haven't put any of the names on there yet. But it gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. So in, on the website, um, you'll be able to, on the Muslim Space website, you'll be able to find a link that will have a file that's similar to this. And you'll just print that out. So what I've done is written out Iftar times um, in four different fonts, so you can pick your favorite, and it's going to be a bunch of numbers. Now, right now, that probably won't make a lot of sense to you, but it will once I get started. So you're going to start with your two pieces of paper. I'm going to go ahead and open my packet along with you. So it's two sheets of cardstock. Now, this is a pretty simple project. You can make it as fancy as you want, but we'll start out with this simple version. So here's a simple sheet of cardstock, and we're going to fold it in what is called, I believe, the hot dog fold. So fold it down lengthwise, all the way down the end. So you're actually going to do this with both pieces of paper. Keep it really simple. So just a simple fold it in half. I'm going to do that with the other one as well. Now, the reason that we're using two is to give it a little bit of sturdiness. Now, I forgot to mention there'll be a few materials that you'll need to provide that we did not include in the packet, but they're really simple. Just some tape, um, some scissors, a marker, and if you end up using our printout, you'll need a glue stick. Okay, so here are my two pieces of paper sandwich fold. Now, if I, if you can see on my example version, it's shaped like a triangle. I didn't seal this one up. We'll do that together. But you're basically going to take one of these triangles and the other triangle and fold them together like this. So you make a triangle. Does that make sense? So you've got one like this, one where it overlaps on one side, and then there's a base. So this is where your tape is going to come in. And I'm going to take the sides that come together and just put a simple piece of tape. You can tape the entire length if you'd like, or you can just keep it really simple and just do um, one piece of tape in the middle. So I will go ahead and do that. Now, I'm, we obviously gave you um, white paper, but you can, if you like the way this looks, you easily can go back and do it in colored paper. But this is, again, just a prototype. And you can also duplicate this if you wanted a second one for, like, Sahur time. So that nobody has to ask you how much more time they have before that they can eat. Okay, so I'm just putting a few pieces of tape on here. So as you can see, I now have made a little triangle. I've got two pieces of tape at the top, two pieces at the bottom. Really, it doesn't matter as long as you just end up with that triangle shape. So the basic idea, now you're going to have to take your three little notebooks. What's inside the notebooks actually doesn't matter, but um, if you'll notice, page one actually has a bunch of little Lego pieces on it. You can just skip right past that one. And if you'll notice, so we'll go ahead and open up each notebook with onto the second page, which is a blank page. You don't really need this cover page. Okay, so I've got all three folded like that. Now the end result. Oops, Okay, the end result is we're going to take that and literally just lay them on top of our triangle. So you're kind of getting the idea already, probably, of how this is going to work. So this is where the printout comes in really handy. So here's my printout, and I'm personally, I really like this font right here. This is my second, oh, this is the font I tend to use almost everything at my house. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut that one out. Keeping this real simple. 
just going to cut that out and we just are going to glue that right on to the paper. Okay, so I've got that cut out. Just apply a little bit of glue to the back of that. Nothing complicated here. And again, if you don't have the printout, um, it's perfectly fine to just write it out in, in your own handwriting. Just wanted it to look nicer. That's why I printed it out. So I have just attached it here. So you're starting to get, you might be starting to get an idea. But that does not want to stay. I guess this is a little older glue that I have. Let me make sure I do the edges. Okay, there we are. So I've got this all stuck on there. Okay, so we already started to see. Now it says it's our time. So obviously it's probably backwards for you, but it's right side up if I look at it. Okay, so let me see. Today, um, today is the couple days. We're about a week, a week and a day into Ramadan. So where I am, so where it's our time tomorrow. We'll go ahead and make it just specific for tomorrow. So it's our time tomorrow where I am is 7:51 p.m. So let's start by just getting an example. So we'll take one of these little notebooks. It doesn't matter which order. They're actually going to be identical when you're done. Now, this is my first version of the document, and the, the numbers are huge. I'm going to, the one I'm going to post, the numbers aren't going to be quite as big, but I'm going to go ahead and cut out one, uh, one set of the zero to nine numbers. Now, I, do I need all of them? No, of course not. Especially in the first case, because um, if our time is probably six to seven to eight p.m. You probably only need three of these numbers, but this way I can make them interchangeable and I don't have to put it in the first slot. So I'll go ahead since I have them anyway and put all the numbers on. So I'm going to cut out a full set, six to nine. So you're going to repeat this in the process three times in case that isn't obvious, but I'm going to cut out the individual numbers. So I've got there's nine, Seven, six, so you'll be able to find this link under the Lumina Arts and Crafts page, and it'll say PDF file for the countdown calendar. Well, this isn't really a countdown calendar, that's right. I should say the Iftar time calendar. Okay, so I've got my numbers cut out. Now, like I said, we're going to skip that first page that has stuff drawn all over it. It doesn't matter. If you really want to use that page, go ahead. Not a big, big deal. So I'm going to start by putting the the one on the first page. The same idea, just put some glue on the back and kind of center it onto the page. Okay, so see? Simple, simple, just glue on the one. You don't have to glue them on. If you have nice handwriting, you're free to just write them down. Um, but I kind of like things to look very even, so that is why I am providing you that printout and you can use it. Okay, so then the next page, I'm going to do the two. I've got next steps. So if you see me flipping pages or you hear me flipping pages, that's what's going on. Okay, then on to page. There is a four. Now, like I said, you will not need all these numbers for the hour hand, but again, it's fine. Just go ahead and do it. That way, if they get mixed up, you are fine to use them in any way that you wish. Now, the six and the nine, I think I mixed up, but they are actually exactly the same, just opposite of each other. So if you mix them up, don't worry. Just put one right side up and put one six side up and put one nine side up.
down one seven. And again, I know I'm going quickly, but this is, you can take as long as you want. If you need some more time, you can just pause the video um, or you can just watch me and then you can go back and do yours at your own pace. Eight. Okay, so I'm at, I've got two more numbers to attach and then I'll be all done. And the zero. Okay, so I'm done with my first notebook, as you can see. Um, I'm going to flip through it. So it's one, and another day it might be three. So, like I said, tomorrow where I am, if our time is 7.51, so I'm going to go ahead and just flip to the seven because that's the number I'm going to need and keep that page open and just literally set that down right there. So now somebody family comes along, they're going to say if our time is seven something. Now minutes, um, the minute hand, obviously there's hour and colon and a minute. So I'm going to use just a little simple marker and draw two dots for my hour hand. I don't have to be perfect, but as you can see, it's seven. Okay, so now I can work on the second one. So the second notebook, I'm going to do exactly the same way. I'm going to go ahead and put all the numbers because this one I may or may not need depending on where you live. So where I am, I think the first day it was 740 something and the last day is going to be eight. 10 something or 8 15 or something but that's okay this will be, if i do this correctly then i can use this year after year and it will be versatile now once you're done um, you might be going faster than i am which is possible you can always decorate the background you can color on it you can um, change it out to different colors. You can add washi tape, you can add anything to make it as pretty as you'd like because the white on white isn't the most exciting, but this way you can match any color of decor that you choose to use at your house. And you could also use these year, um, from one year to another if you want to change it out. Um, Maybe you use blue paper this year and use green paper next year. It just needs two sheets of cardstock, eight and a half by 11, which is very easily available anywhere. And you probably have some at home. You could use construction paper, but I just find it's not very sturdy. So that's the only reason I would hesitate with that. So I'm going to do this one the same way I did the last one. I'm going to start with one. And then you got that zero at the end. Actually, at this one, I might. It doesn't matter which way you do them. Um, they don't honestly even have to be in order. It'll just make your list easier if they are. But I would just continue the same pattern I did, which is start with the one. Simple, just I cut them out first, and I'm just applying a little bit of glue to each of my numbers. Okay. You can believe that we're already in our second week of Ramadan. I feel like we wait for it for some of the months, and then it comes and it flies by. I've lost my four. Now you can always just take you know, take the pages and write on them. Um, then you just have to be careful that the numbers don't bleed through to the next page. So 
I prefer the cut and stick method. You can also buy stickers. Um, if you happen to have any stickers at home, numbered stickers, you're free to use those. That would go even faster. And you can have that nice neat look without having to glue all these individual pieces on. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. I almost skipped my six. Okay, so I just did number six. Two, three, four, five, six. Four, eight, seven. Now, since this one's our minute hand, we um, will not need the zero again. Um, you could just go through, you know, one to five. Um, but I had the number, so I'm using it. Or sorry, yeah, one to five. Um, one to five. Oops, I think I skipped a page. Okay, so that's not a big deal. I happen to skip a page, but. That just means when I switch numbers, I'll just have to switch two pages that day, or I can just pull out the extra page. I think the notebooks have about 12 pages in each one, so you won't have a problem if you did what I just did. I tried to find notebooks that were small enough that would work with everybody and also fit on the paper and not be super heavy so that wouldn't work for this yeah. okay. and finally here's the last one for this notebook so by now you probably figured out that we're going to do the same thing the third time but like i said here it's 7:51 tomorrow i'll go ahead and split it for five and you can start to see how it's coming together. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing one more quick time. I like to cut them all out first instead of cutting and gluing each time. My hands get all sticky with the glue stick. Not my favorite feeling in the world. Okay, so there's one. Maybe your family's not like mine and they don't ask a bunch of times what time the star is that day. But I found this to be the question I get asked the most as I'm getting stuff ready or putting water on the table or whatever it is, maybe getting the dates for that day. And so it just seems like a great way to display them. So much seven. Almost done with my cutting. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing a third time. There's nothing different about any of these. So we are not attaching this to the base. You can, if you find that they're falling over, you can always staple it to the triangular piece that you made. You can stick it, put some double sticky tape on the back um, or whatever. I didn't find when I made my sample that they would move much. So it worked out okay for me, but you'll have to see what works for you. You've got a bunch of small kids that are messing with it, maybe. That might be a better idea. But this is a really great way to get younger siblings involved is maybe that's their job every day is they set the calendar for the time for the next day. And that gives them something to do since maybe they aren't 
testing and we're not able to test yet. So I'm going super fast. I might not have enough glue on these. I can always go back and add more. So I'm just trying to get done quickly so that we can move on to the next part, which is the decorating part, which is my favorite. Two more, and I am done with this part. And finally, does it. Okay, so I will go ahead and set this for the time for tomorrow. So, Jordan, 51 is it's my time. So now the next day, let's say the time goes one minute later, all you have to do is just take that one and flip it over. Now it's our time is 7.52 p.m. Or I guess you don't have to put the p.m. If you feel like it, you can always write p.m. right there, but I think people figure it out. It's not to be 7.52 a.m. So that's a simple project, and this is the simple version of it. Now you can use anything. You can grab some markers and you can color the whole thing. I happen to have some washi tape sitting right here, so I'm going to go ahead and use some blue and um, gold are kind of the colors I'm using this year for my one of decorations. So this green is pretty. I'm going to use green instead because I just like it more. And so you can put this anywhere you want. If you want, you can actually like. I can take off the number pads. And I just took off the three. This is where I said it's very helpful if they look exactly the same. So you don't have to worry about it. And I'm going to put like one piece of this is washi tape. It's like um, a printed tape if your mom has any or your parent has any laying around. Maybe you do. Um, but if you don't, you can just grab some markers and color with that. You can always, like I said, redo the, the same, the triangle with. Um, with a different colored paper. Just something to rest it up a little bit. So I'm just putting two, I, this washi tape's a little bit fat. It's about uh, three quarters inch wide. So I'm gonna put one stripe at the top and one stripe at the bottom. And you're gonna, I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a second. Okay, so see I just added two stripes of washi tape. Now when I put my numbers back in, You'll be able to see that now it's just got a different look. So there we go. Now I have an Athar Time chart for the rest of the month. I hope you enjoyed this craft. Um, like I said, the, this file will be posted on the Muslim Space um, webpage um, under Arts and Crafts in just a little bit. And I will, um, and if you have any questions, you can always. Just give us some feedback and let us know if this was clear, if this is some sort of project that you would like to do again. If you need um, to find these little notebooks, let's say you wanted to make it one for software time, um, then these are just on Amazon. Um, they're not super expensive and then they'll be rolling around your house forever. So there you go.